Got to move this down. I'm not quite as tall as Jason Collins. So, <laughs> Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we bring the evening to a close, I want to take a few minutes to thank you for being here tonight and for making possible the work we do each and every day. I've got to tell you that 12 years strong, the NGLCC is bigger than ever before in many ways, thanks to each and every one of you. I want to begin by offering sincere thanks to this evening's presenting sponsor, IBM. IBM, who are my IBM folks? All right, stand up. My Big Blue has been with us since, since the beginning and is our first founding corporate partner, and they continue to stand with us today as our presenting sponsor for 12 years running. So thank you so much. My hat's off to all of our dinner sponsors, congratulations to tonight's honorees, and a shout out to the fabulous Deborah Cox. Where is Deborah Cox? I don't know. She's in the house. And I want to just give a heartfelt thanks to each of you for th taking the time to be here as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of the LGBT business community on a global scale, so thank you. There's so much to celebrate tonight, so many accomplishments and victories, and so many new connections and business opportunities. In just a moment, Justin is going to speak about our California Assembly Bill, AB 1678, which was signed into law, yes, thank you. Signed into law earlier this year. But in the meantime, well, we've just given an applause, but let's give another one to these lovely folks who are joining me here on stage. They were absolutely instrumental in the passage of this bill. You folks have helped catapult the LGBT business community and the NGLCC certified suppliers into an entirely new league. And for that, you should be very, very proud. So thank you, folks. Justin and I have the honor of working with some truly remarkable people. So at this time, I would like to ask that our board of directors, as well as our incredible staff, Team NGLCC, stand and take a bow. Where are you, folks? Thank you. We simply could not do all of this without you, and we appreciate the hard work and dedication that each of you bring to the organization every day. 2014 has been yet another record-breaking year for the NGLCC. We have more corporate partners than ever, over 140, this year adding such household names as General Motors, SunTrust, TIA, Kref, Enterprise, Time Warner, and General Mills. So if our new partners are in the house, let's give them a round of applause. In fact, as Michael Robinson noted in his welcome remarks, we have over one-third of the Fortune 500 that are looking to add NGLCC certified LGBT-owned businesses to their supply chain. For the third year in a row, our conference has sold out. This year, we saw a 30% growth in attendance. Now, I got to tell you, thinking back to our first conference 12 years ago in a small ballroom here in DC, I think there were probably roughly 50 participants. But I'm going to come clean and say our press release said probably 80. So it was a, it was a record-breaking year for us then, too. Um, but this summer, we had over 750 in Las Vegas. And we'll top that even in uh, next August in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So the future is truly bright for the NGLCC. Tonight's dinner is sold out. As you can see, we have a packed house. And this is the third year that the dinner has been a complete sellout. So thank you all for being here and helping us with this remarkable uh, event. Whether you've been with us since the beginning or this is your first dinner, your support and dedication is greatly appreciated. It's almost impossible to believe that the organization has made such tremendous strides in such a short amount of time. 12 years ago this month, NGLCC was in its infancy, and we weren't entirely sure that the idea would take hold, much less have the impact that we see today. Now, I see Chris Crespo and her family are here. Guys, stand up. Many of you have known these guys for a very long time. Bravo. Chris is our immediate uh, past board chair, and we've had the pleasure of knowing her family over the years. And I think one thing we share in common is that we have a passion for business, but we also have a passion for science. So occasionally, when I'm looking for some guidance on some issues, I might uh, contact Chris, and she'll ask one of her very brilliant children about some issues or some things I'm interested in. So we share that common bond. And one particular theory that I find very interesting is something called the chaos theory. 
You've probably heard of it at least a time or two, as it's commonly referred to as the butterfly effect, and you may hear about it in weather modeling. The premise of the theory and the underlying question goes a little bit something like this. If a butterfly flaps its wings in rural Mississippi, does that in some way cause a hurricane or a cyclone in the South China Sea a few weeks later? Can one seemingly small and inconsequential event, one that slightly alters the initial condition, lead to unimaginable changes at a far removed time and place? When you change that initial condition, when you introduce a concept like business equality, does the cascade of subsequent events impact people, places, and things in a way you may never know or could possibly imagine? I firmly believe it does. So in the context of this theory, can we tr ever truly grasp the impact that our collective actions might have one day, the lives we are changing and will change? We can never be certain, I guess, if the results we see today are a derivative of this business savvy, although Justin and I like to think that. Is it divine intervention? Is it good luck? Is it being at the right place at the right time? Pure coincidence? Maybe a combination of all of those variables. But what I do know is that 12 years ago, we looked at the current state of LGBT equality, and we weren't satisfied with what we discovered. So we decided to introduce business into the equation, and the vehicle for doing that was and remains the NGLCC. And make no mistake about it, you all are playing and will continue to play a vital role in the evolution of this organization and the future of global LGBT equality. I often think back growing up in a small town in Texas and being a very young man that was very afraid of being gay. I would occasionally hear whispered comments about people like Barney Frank or Martina Navratilova, so I'm dating myself now on the time frame. Um, there were hush stories, things that were never flattering, never affirming. It was like I was the only gay person in the world, and I'm sure many of you can relate. But as we know, things get better, and being visible and serving as positive role models can have a huge impact on society as a whole. Yet while equality in our nation is advancing, we cannot forget people that live in countries like Russia, Uganda, and Nigeria that can be jailed or killed just for mentioning the word gay, much less attending something like this. Through NGLCC Global and the NGLCC Foundation, and in partnership with USAID, Wells Fargo, Miller Coors, and many others, we are expanding our message of economic empowerment and equality. And our message is being heard, even by those living under the most oppressive circumstances. So as we reflect on our accomplishments, as we raise a glass tonight, let's remember that there are people throughout the world that desperately want what this organization has to offer. People in distant places who seek to build partnerships with us in order to empower and reshape communities and build a better and safer life for their families and for themselves. Together, we are making a difference. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey, and I look forward to influencing and sharing the future of NGLCC with you all. Thank you very much.